Hello and welcome back to MTD CNC. I always appreciate you tuning in and paying attention to what we have going on. Today I'm at SW North America here in Michigan and I'm with my buddy Nick. Well, let's talk about automation as a general rule. We know we need it. We know there's a skills gap. We're removing the mundane jo uh, parts of jobs. We're removing the danger from jobs. We're allowing people to get back to their creativity. Right. But there's some people still probably a lot of people who haven't really, really jumped in yet. And there's a lot of questions out there about, well, how do I get into it? What do I do? And SW is kind of an all-in-one place where I can work with one team at SW, get my machines, and get my integrated robots, right? How does that all work? So a lot of what SW does greatly is a customer will come to us and ask, hey, we have this machine part and we have broadcasting part. What can you guys do to help our parts go from start to finish? Uh, whether it may be you know, rinsing the parts off, it's laser marking, printing the parts, whatever it may be. Um, our team here, we get together, we have our engineering team applications, we have some technicians, controls engineers people. Uh, we get together, we see what works for the customer, what can we do, and uh, from there we decide, okay, the customer wants these things in implemented in their system, whether it be um, just a small machine, a big machine. Uh, we have, you know, FANUC robots is what we use here at SW, and um, we design all the grippers, the fixtures that go along with the parts. We do a full automation system start to finish. So it, it really starts with the part. We, you know, we have that meeting, we go, okay, this is what we need to make. Right? Is it going to take one machine? Is it going to take 10 machines? Is it going to take one robot? But you really, I would say, build that confidence and remove that fear and take all of the guesswork out by walking the customer through exactly what they need step by step, regardless of, you know, as you say, with laser systems and all the other components that go right. along with it. You build that confidence with them that you know, hey, you're working with a professional company that does it all in-house. It's not working with two or three separate companies. It's all here. Yeah, so with... A customer, they may have their requirements for if it's a medical part, if a if it's a automated part for cars. There's many things that we can do here, um, but depending on really what the customer wants and needs, we can implement things. Whether again, if it's a washer, if it's um, blow drying all the parts off, if it's you know in the system itself, it washes, rinses, does all that as well. Um, but from there, a lot of the design work that we do is everything you see from start to finish. It's the conveyor system, it's the cell walls around everything, it's the grippers for the robots. Uh, we work with many companies, but we do implement everything here. Uh, we have third-party companies come out. Uh, we work with them to see what works for us. Uh, for instance, we have a bushing press that for one of our customers, that's what they needed, so we designed a whole cell around that, robots, grippers, um, a fixture plate for that, some other things that really, you know, gets what the customer wants at the end. So I'm going to give you a, a, a kind of crazy hypothetical, if it's okay. All right. Let's pretend for a second that I have a friend who's like, you know what, I need to make 30 million of this part, right? right? And I don't even have a machine shop at the time. And yes, guys, I'm trying to really break this down to understand just how sophisticated SW is on this whole process. Right. And, I, and he goes, you know what? I want you to do it. We're going to partner together. Let's get all these parts done. I can quite literally come to you with a part and you are going to, from beginning to end, have something on my floor that's going to be able to run those parts, build that confidence, remove that fear, make everything that I need to do. You mentioned grippers and all these other things. I mean, right. from start to finish, you're going to go, here's what we're doing. Here's how it's going to be okay. Here's how it's going to work. You can probably even break it down to what the cycle time of the parts will be at the end of the day or something like that also, right? Correct. And that's what the applications team is for. Uh, yeah, we all get together from start to finish. Uh, we do it literally from start to finish with everything. You know, whether we have to break it up into four different cells, one cell, one robot, I mean, we can do a lot of things, but yeah, uh, you know, if you have a part, we can do it. So the reason I wanted to break down that crazy hypothetical, and for those of you watching as well, is because I, I want people 
that are thinking about automation or the people out there going, it's not for me or for whatever reason, right? I want them to realize just how simple it is, which is why I gave an example of not even having a machine shop, how you guys can simplify that walkthrough for everyone. Now, what about training? What if I need training on the software or anything that runs? You guys provide all that as well, right? Correct. We do have a team that will come out to you or we will bring you in here teach you about our machines, um, how they operate, you know, faults, things like that. Uh, and then we also have, I believe, a training program that one of our colleagues, Bruno, he does the training for the machines um, and some other automated things like that. And once the system is there, we do a runoff. We do a runoff here as well. Um, we do any faulty things. We go through every cycle and make sure everything runs perfectly and then we, you know, go from there. Perfect. Well, Nick, I know you're a busy dude. I know how much you love being on TV, but we're going to end this. I want to thank you for being a part of MTD, sharing your story, and I hope to see you down in South Florida. Yeah. If there's actually the Bahamas not blocking the waves, I'll see you on a surfboard out there. Sounds good. Amen.